Hey everybody, Marcos Villegas here with Danny Garcia who takes on Keith Thurman this weekend on CBS. Danny, first off, congratulations. It's, uh, I just, I keep thinking back to when I talk, uh, talked to you at the Matisse fight and I was like, man, this is a huge event yeah. and half the people are, are here for you. Right. And just seeing now you're in another huge event, bigger platform on CBS, you made it obviously, you've made it for a long time, but I guess taking everything in, how does it feel to be on this stage on top of big stage, on top of big stage. It feels great, man. It's a dream come true to me. Um, I'm moti it motivates me more. Um, it gives me that extra burst of energy. Even when I'm losing weight, I feel like I don't want to do it. You know, come out here and I, I recognize what's going on and how big this fight is. It motivates me and I'm, I feel good. I'm confident. And it's, just, it's what every fighter asks for. I've seen you in such a happy mood. And usually when I see fighters in a happy mood, it gets me thinking like, uh-oh, yeah. like this guy's ready. Yeah, this yeah. is the best I've seen you in a long time. Yeah, yeah I'm ready, bro. I'm ready. Um, all the hard work's been put in. I've been, I've been active. I had the good warm-up fight. That, that makes me feel a lot better because a lot of my great performances when I was active and not, um, not on a long layoff. So I've been active. I've been in the gym. I've been training. I did everything I had to do. And it ain't nothing else to do. Just put it on the line. I asked this question to a lot of people online, and it got a lot of people thinking. I'm like, if Danny Garcia wins this fight, this is the second division he unifies, is that Hall of Fame worthy? And people were like, oh shit, you brought up a good point. What do you think about that? Uh, definitely, definitely, I'm, definitely. I can't be denied. Um, it's crazy because people ask me, like, when I, well, like, people been asking me, like, do you plan on retiring? And I'm like, Damn, I'm only 28. Like, I, you making me feel old. Like, people have asked me that lately. Like, oh, do you plan on retiring? I don't know, probably because I'm making a lot of money, or and that's the whole point of Boston to make money and then retire. But it is kind of weird, man. But um, I feel good. I'm in the prime of my career, and um, you know, the sky's the limit. You've been against big punchers with Matisse. Uh, there was such an aura about him. Like, this guy's a killer. He's gonna walk over Danny. I know you learn from yeah. all experiences, but is I it? A more, I think that was a way more dangerous fight than this yeah. fight, in my opinion. Because, man, that guy was killing people. Yeah. He was feared. He was destroying people. Um, Thurman, he, he likes to fight, but he's not, he not, a, he know, he not the type of fighter who's going to put pressure on you for 12 rounds with just throwing bombs. Mm -hmm. And that's the type of, m m type of fighter Matisse is. Yeah. Thurman likes to, he likes to mix it up, but he likes to rest a little bit, using his legs, move. And, um... Matisse is the type of fighter where you got to be on your A game every round or he's going to knock you out. I was going to say, you can draw from that experience. You've been in that experience where people yeah, are telling you this guy's going to kill you and you're like, nah, nah. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, Danny, thank you so much. If you could visualize it, how do you end this fight? With the hook or body shot? Because I saw you throwing a lot of body shots, a lot of uppercuts yeah, when yeah. you're shadow boxing. Yeah, um, I would have to say, uh, Right hand, right, right hand, hand, overhand yeah. right, yeah. <laughs> Danny, thank you so much. It's good seeing you. I appreciate it. Danny Garcia speaking about his fight this weekend against Keith Thurman on CBS. Check it out, guys. It's on free TV.